Today, let us see in detail about root canal shaping techniques. As we all know, there are three basic methods in root canal shaping. Step back, crown down and hybrid. So, step back and crown down are the two techniques which we will see in detail in this video. Step back is again classified into conventional and passive techniques. The conventional technique is also known as telescopic technique. First, let us start with the step back technique in root canal shaping. For an introduction, root canal shaping is also known as biomechanical preparation and we have mechanical objectives and biological objectives of biomechanical preparation. Therefore, the name comes biological objectives and mechanical objectives. This step that is biomechanical preparation comes after access opening and coronal flaring that is widening the part of um, access opening and also work length estimation. So the root canal shaping techniques will proceed with these two techniques. So the step back technique consists of three shapes, three areas to be shaped, apical third, middle third and the coronal third. It was introduced by Clem and Wayne. Canal is first enlarged in the apical third. From there we proceed backwards, therefore step back technique. The coronal apic apical third is at least enlarged up to number 25 or 35 size of the instrument. Usually K files are used. Then consequently larger file size for shaping the middle third and coronal third. So these are the steps in order. First we have to grossly debride the full length of the working length canal and after which file size 10 and 15 are used to check for patency and also to clean the debris, gross debris what was present and the motion used is usually reaming motion and not never filing motion. The reaming motion is like this that is the file is placed in the canal and continuous one fourth or half of the rotation of clock in clockwise direction is given. So in clockwise direction you have to rotate along the walls file is present in the canal. This is the file and it moves in the clockwise direction. This motion is called reaming motion and the disengagement of the debris is with a mild pulling motion. So this is the motion you have to use and filing motion is just push and pull. You have to push it and you have to pull it. It may cause ledging therefore it is not advisable here. The third step is the canal is being irrigated with any ideal irrigant, usually sodium hypochlorite, I'm sorry, sodium hypochlorite or EDTA. So after which the debris and irrigant are aspirated, removed off, then the file is inspected again, the fluids are cleaned with squeezing cotton. The fluids may contain debris, the files, the fluids may be filled with debris, so they are cleaned by squeezing cotton and rotating anti-clockwise. Since the file is rotated in clockwise into the canal, by squeezing the uh, cotton in anti-clockwise, you could remove the debris. So apical filing is repeated till the working length. You have to reach till uh, the binding is present, the tug, snug fit, till you feel that you have to do it until fluids of the apical region of the file is clean and debris are removed, we have to repeat the apical filing. So the apical third is enlarged up to file 20, size 25 at least and after which the step back is started. We have to move further from the working length. So we have to increase the file size decrease the length. This is the basic of step back. From 25 you are increasing the file size to 30, 35 and 40 but you are increasing working length short of 1 mm every time so that if for example if the working length is 16 mm 
you work it till 25 after which you have to decrease the working length to 15 mm that means the working length is not decreased but the length through which you insert the file is decreased so the size 30 is worked up to 15 mm after which size 35 is worked up to 14 mm so for every increase in file size you are working short of 1 mm so you are stepping back each time hence the name step back up to the coronal taper and this gives you the tapering appearance of the file you are increasing the file size for every decrease mm decrease in length and then once file makes contact with the walls we have to ream the walls i have already explained in detail what is reaming motion clockwise you have to circumferentially ream the walls then recapsulation is done recapsulation is a concept where after using a bigger file size you use a smaller file size to maintain patency and to remove the debris and to prevent pushing debris beyond the peri apex if you constantly use bigger size file then you can inadvertently push the debris beyond the peri apex to prevent that after working with 35 for example it is better to use 25 after each step to maintain the apical segments patency and to prevent push, pushing by, uh, the debris beyond the peri apex therefore it by these steps the body of the canal is prepared and gates built in drills are used for coronal segment enlargement for the segment alone gates built in drills are used and circumferential filing is prefer preferred to refine the walls the, these steps may look like this once you finish to avoid this circumferential filing may smoothen out the canals so at the end of the preparation the walls are smooth and clean with apical taper therefore the summary is phase 1 we have to apply do apical in third instrumentation phase 2 will be middle third instrumentation and phase 3 will be coronal third instrumentation instrumentation and the principal motion will be mainly reaming and at the end circumferential filing so the main advantage of this step back technique is you can achieve a proper apical stop prior to coronal and middle third since you are preparing the apical third first you will achieve a proper apical stop commonly 2% taper stainless steel files are used and the major limitations of this step back technique is extrusion of debris beyond peri apex can occur if we do not irrigate well or recapsulate in between and loss of working length since you are decreasing 1 mm every time you can miss the working length at sub point if you are not careful and tendency to the straighten can straighten the canal the curved canals may tend to straighten because of this process so you should be careful while negotiating curved canals so these are the points to take home while remembering step back technique then we'll proceed with the crown down technique which is the second major technique it was proposed by gorig et al it is also known as the step down technique as the name suggests you prepare the coronal third first followed by middle third then the apical third first shaping is the coronal third before apical shaping the steps are same but in a reverse fa uh, reverse fashion first you have to check for the patency of the canal using 8 file and k file sorry 8 or 10 k file and then the h file headstrom file is used 15 20 or 25 in the coronal third preparation the coronal third is prepared using these three files and apical length is to the point where the file binds you need not enter full working length with these files only till where the file binds you have to insert, insert these files after which the coronal flaring is carried out with the gates gliten size 2 3 or 4 we should keep away from furcation while doing this 
After coronal flaring, the apical instrumentation is with the minimum 10 or 15 K file. Working length determination is also done at this stage after coronal flaring. Then large file sizes like K file of 60 or 70 is placed in the canal till resistance. Okay, You have to place it as I say, mentioned before not up to the full working length but till where you feel the level of binding where you feel that the canal for example if you use a 60 file it is actually a wider a bigger one and this file need not be inserted till the working length only till the length where you feel binding okay where you feel that the canals are touching uh, that the file is touching the canal walls you place it till there after which the length uh, you you do a watch winding motion like reaming only you clean the walls circumferentially till resistance is felt and you have to repeat with smaller files while proceeding down while increasing every mm length you have to decrease the file size so decrease the file size and increase the length is the factor you have to remember in crown down or step down technique as usual copious irrigation of the canals and recapitulation with smaller file size 10 or 15 will help you in uh, preventing debris which is be which can be pushed beyond the periapex so the file canal taper is determined with the master apical file uh, the, uh, with the master apical file you have to do circumferential filing motion to smoothen out the step down uh, as I said before the canal can be uh, looking like this and the circumferential filing motion with the master apical file can give you a smoothened out walls so the modifications of the crown down techniques are crown down pressureless technique double flat technique and balanced force technique the main advantages of crown down technique include it is a relatively easier procedure rotary files are you often use this type of technique and it minimizes the extrusion of debris periapically as you are removing the coronal obstruction first itself the coronal is wide enough coronal part is wide enough to facilitate copious irrigation therefore you are uh, you can be better that uh, better sure that uh, extrusion of debris is prevented first it facilitates the removal of debris as i said and better irrigation is possible as i said working length is also maintained the limitation is that uh, the last since the last phase is the gauging of uh, that the apical third preparation there could be some gauging in the apical third region which should be carefully prevented and as to summarize the first phase is the coronal third instrumentation followed by middle third is the phase two and phase three is the apical third instrumentation either hand or rotary instruments can be used here both can be used and the motion of instrument is reaming or watch winding along with circumferential filing so hope you got an idea of both the major techniques of cleaning and shaping thank you See you soon in the next video.